producing apparel did this, and it continues to do this. The World Bank estimates that around 20% of industrial water pollution is caused by the dyeing and treatment of textiles. So really all the work we could do and participation in public policy could come undone if we don't stop the negative impacts of our supply chains on the environment. And our industry is well poised to show the rest of the industry that doing business the right way means being profitable and taking care of the planet. I feel like it's one of the most challenging times in our history because we know so much. So we know more about animal welfare, we know more about microplastics in the ocean, we know more about chemicals that we're using. So there's a lot of those types of things that if we collaborate and aggregate our efforts, everybody's gonna move faster forward. And those are really not competitive issues. Those are planetary issues. As an outdoor company, clearly taking care of the outdoors is critical to our business, right? So we have a firm commitment to our environmental sustainability and also taking care of the people that make our product all around the world. It's, it's critical and it's really important to what we do as a company. First started about just looking at our factory. How can we reduce the water we're using? How can we reduce the energy we're using? Uh, you know, minimize the waste that we're sending to the landfill. All those things were, you know, started getting us thinking more uh, holistically and thinking about sustainability in a way that, that uh, we could really make some difference. We have complete transparency. We, we know where our materials are coming from, and then we're able to communicate that as part of our brand story. Our industry is made up of a lot of little tiny businesses. And so we don't represent big business, we represent small independent business. I think that's a really important point because you're not going to find that in a lot of other industries. The Sustainability Working Group, or SWG for short, is a working group that is managed by Outdoor Industry Association and it's a collaborative group of about uh, several hundred outdoor industry brands, retailers, suppliers, and other stakeholders. And all of these companies are working together in a pre-competitive, collaborative manner that's really leading the way for a lot of other industries, frankly, um, to, to solve their shared challenges in the global supply chain. And our flagship tool is really something called the HIG Index, and that has its roots in the outdoor industry. Um, and 10 years ago or so, the outdoor industry started working on this collaborative tool um, to benchmark and measure sustainability in the supply chain. Uh, and that's really one of the best examples of a uh, shared effort um, in bringing together this collaboration. It shows you that you can be small, but as a group, you can have a large voice. And that's incredibly powerful. And I think that by all of us getting into this at the same time and really carrying the HIG index forward and um, posting our, our modules into the HIG index so that, that the data can be better understood, we're building an incredibly valuable tool for not only our industry but many others. I personally believe that the HIG tool is one of the most important things uh, we can do as an industry uh, in the next you know, handful of years, three to five years. Uh, we need to have a singular tool, um, both so customers eventually can have the information they need to make the right decision, because right now it's not available to them. And I think just having that singular standard can set the tone for other industries too. Like my vision is a big vision, but if we can get this dialed with the apparel and outdoor industry, I think other industries can tag along. So for the past 10 years, the Sustainability Working Group, in conjunction with the Sustainable Apparel Coalition, has been working on developing the HIG Index. Uh, and so now our effort within the Outdoor Industry Association is really to foster broad adoption of this tool throughout the outdoor industry and beyond. And that's, um, that's the effort we really want to drive at OIA. We're here to help companies with that and with their adoption of the HIG Index and all of the different sustainability considerations that it entails uh, so that companies don't have to do that on their own. It's such light years ahead of where we were before. And so you've got the learnings of all these companies coming in and some of the best thinkers on this work, not just in our industry, but really globally. So if you think it's intimidating to engage with the HIG, try doing it without the HIG is really my response. And just take it one step at a time. So we have an incredible group of companies that are collaborating through the Sustainability Working Group and we can always use more. So if there are any companies out there that are interested in participating in this work, we'd encourage you to reach out to OIA and join the sustainable business movement in the outdoor industry.